Hi, welcome to this painting project in which we will be painting a scene from a village called Hinjewadi near Pune. It will have some nice blue sky, some clouds in it and lot of monsoon grass because I clicked a photograph when it was peak of monsoon season July last year. To make this painting, we will be following a three step process in which the first step will be about composition and drawing. The second thing or the second step will be about laying in the broad colors and it's called the blocking in and the final stage in which we will be adding the details to give pop to the painting and we will be finishing it. So let's get started with the first step in which we will be looking at the reference photograph and take elements from that and compose a nice picture for our canvas. So this is the tree which I want to make the hero or the biggest shape in this painting and I want the horizon line somewhere here and I want to make use of that mountain also. I will not make it very big as compared to this tree because I want to show the distance. This mountain will be slightly darker than the land, so which is this part of the painting. Then I, I will replace this tar road with some mud road which will lead towards this focal area and it's as if this pathway leads to the small village at the foothill of this mountain and to balance this sh big shape I am going to introduce one more shrub. Again I want to avoid having two shapes or of the same external design. So I want this tree like this but then I will make this shrub slightly taller then broader and then I need something here some tree small one to suggest the distance. And since the sun is coming from this side, this area of the tree will be lighter. Even on this tree, this area will be lighter. And this side of the tree will be dark. This area will be dark. And it will cast shadow like this. This tree will cast a shadow like this. And there will be some small shrubs towards the base of the mountain. And this road will be slightly darker than the green grass here and here. So, and there will be some stones or small rocks on this road. And then I want to show some clouds here and here. to complete the picture. Now that we have the composition done, we can start with the next step which is the blocking in and uh, so this is the first step which we did and then we are at the step number two and uh, let me explain what kind of uh, colors I am using. I am using oil colors but you can use uh, acrylic colors uh, also if you want to uh, paint this project. So I have a titanium white, then I have uh, cobalt blue, I have lemon yellow and then I have burnt sienna here. These are the only four colors or three colors and white which we are going to use uh, for this painting. So and the brushes which we are going to use or which I am going to use are this is a number 11 brush and this is a number 8 brush and this is a 5 number brush. I will be using this only when I need to show some twigs and things like that. And I will be using oil, uh, linseed oil as the medium for painting. The first thing which I need to do now is to transfer this drawing onto this canvas and for that I will be using this blue color and some linseed oil. 
one thing which you have to keep in mind is that if you have a lot of things in the foreground then you should keep your background and the sky area simple because i want this tree to be the hero of the painting and the grass here so this will be the focal area and there will be some clouds here white ones and there will be some cloud here just above the mountain line and that's about it and i'll have one more tree here which will cut through the line of the mountain and that's enough of a drawing which i need for this scene and i can test this again and i think it's okay we can always add to it later and see i'm painting with very broad strokes i'm picking up the color like this and even though i can use some color here i won't use it because the shadow is on ground which is having which will have a lot of bright green grass so this color won't be good for showing that shadow so i'll not use it in that shadow and use some of this with slight amount of white in it for this tree also and this is just an indication of that tree is not a final shape and i'll add some more white here and some more blue and use that for the shadow area of this tree because as the distance increases the darks become lighter and the contrast reduces now let me test this now still i need some white in it yes i can go with this so now let me block in this shape the mountain on this side and some mountain shape on this side also i will also add one or two dots here just to show some sky holes as they are called but they are, though they are not against the sky this is the mountain which is seen through the leaves of this tree so i'll keep it at that now i need uh, to clean my brush and come in with light green color for the grass so i'll start with yellow and add slight amount of blue to it
some linseed oil and let me test this. This is too bright, so I need to add some green or blue to make it green. And this should be okay as the first layer. I think I need to go a bit more greener. green color and do that now here I want to use the brush like this which indicates that there is some grass in the foreground or ahead of this tree so that it overlaps the tree shape let me test this blue this is too bright so i need some more blue in it And in the sky also, the sky is always darker blue at the top and as it comes towards the horizon, it becomes lighter and lighter. So let me start with this. I need more of this, so let me prepare it. Towards the corner, I'll make it slightly more dark or more blue. Need to make the color again. I'll make it slightly light blue or lighter blue now because I'm painting area near the horizon. And there'll be some sky holes here. I'll leave it at that. And then use this color to paint the rest of the area you can see the difference between this blue and the blue which I am using now I need to get this blue somewhere here more but I'll do that uh, in a moment I need more of the light blue. In oil painting, uh, there is a thumb rule which says that you should paint lighter colors thicker and darker colors thinner because other, if you paint dark colors thick, then they kind of look lifeless and there is no area in the nature or in the landscape which is so dark or lifeless there is some reflected light somewhere 
which you will see if you observe clearly or closely and that's the reason why you don't paint the darker areas thick and avoid looking or avoid creating dead areas So I'll take, uh, I'll clean this brush and again come in with the burnt sienna and some yellow. I'm going to make a road color or color for the road to be precise. The atmosphere is of monsoon and so the mud road will be slightly wet and so I am trying to apply this color and I want this pathway to go like this and vanish towards the base of the mountain. And I want to apply this color also very roughly just to emphasize the roughness on the road. So I am not making any smooth brush strokes. I think this area of this tree is too big and I'll have to cut it slightly on the left hand side so that it doesn't occupy so much space. So I'm just picking up some color from here and I might use a tissue paper to wipe some color from here. And I want this portion to be reclaimed by the grass. And let me think again. I will have this much part occupied by green. So I am making sure that all of this brown color burnt sienna is picked up. It's you can see how I'm making changes to the composition when I'm not happy with it. So it's not that whenever you make some composition, it's the final thing. Since you are the artist, you have the authority to change anything in your painting. In this case, I am the artist, so I'm I have the authority to make any changes that I think are necessary for a good painting. So now we are at the third step of the painting process which is adding details. So what I'll do now is uh, look at the whole scene and go on refining each area. So first I'll start with the sky. And for that I need to model the clouds properly and in some areas I need this grey to be slightly darker. So I will pick up some blue and I have this grey already made. So I will use this and use this dark grey at some places. adjust the road a bit. So I'll wash my brush.
and i want this road it's right now it's looking too bright or too red for me i want to slightly mellow it down so i'm using some white and to the road color and let me see how this looks I want to reduce its brightness while maintaining its redness. I want to change the direction of the road slightly so i'll do this and this grass cast some shadow So instead of road turning like this, I want the road to go like this. I think that's enough. I don't want to be too fussing about things and it's time to remove the tape and let me see if I need to add some more yellow at some places to make the grass brighter. I don't think I'll do that at many places. But you can see how I am using this square edge of this brush to create the texture of grass and as the distance increases I am going to use smaller strokes and here I am going to use longer ones and I might add some dark patches here. of grass just to bring the viewers attention towards the focal point and not allow it to go out of the painting from this corner. You can see that without using any small brush I am able to create these blades of grass and that's what I like about these broad brushes. They are very versatile. You can paint big shapes and paint small areas also depending on how you use them. Whereas that's not true about smaller brushes. I think I'll stop there. And I hope you have liked the journey from the photo which you see on the screen on the left hand side to this drawing which we composed based on that photograph and then this final painting. So what I urge you now to do is paint the same scene with the same composition once 
and then use the same photograph and make another composition and paint that because just watching this tutorial will not give you the or will not mean any progress for you but when you make a painting yourself you will be able to actually gain the most from this project so that's the complete painting and i hope you like it and see you in the next project where we paint yet another scene thank you